okay, LeCarrie and Julie Steele. It did not take me long to figure out that I needed to make a video response. The only reason I waited till now to do it was because of the light. I saw all your videos last night after midnight and my room was way too dark and I have people in the house that I don't want to disturb with these videos. So, let me also say this. The only reason you're not suing me is because of two things. First of all, like you said, I don't have anything. Second of all, neither do you. And making 13 and 6 part videos is saving face. My videos never run that long. I mean the longest video I have is 2 hours, but it's a dang event. So let me get on to my little list of things. And I'll try not to critique too harshly, LaCary, like you asked me to. But there's some things that you need to be aware of. Okay? I would accept an apology if it was made and then left alone. But when you make an apology and then you hypocritically turn it around and say other things, it's not an apology. Okay? I made two apologies in my last video about you guys. I did not apologize for the last part, which you didn't even bring up in the whole video series that you just did. So you know you're guilty. Okay? Now here's one thing I do want to stipulate. If you're putting my name on the videos, if you're responding to my videos, okay? Larissa, Cat Creations, and your attack on Christina Davidson are not needed in my videos. They need to be addressed to those individuals independently, not in a mass video that you think that they may or may not see. That's hiding behind somebody else. Okay? Now let me get into this Christina Davidson thing really quick, because that really bothered me, and I already sent her that video which was part two that really slandered her okay now i didn't know she had sent you an email i didn't know anything okay when i made my apology that was it that was going to be it for me so she sent you an email which had no threatening connotations in it whatsoever and you had to go and say that it was threatening did you really read what Julie had written back to her? That was unprofessional, completely and utterly and outright. And then to go ahead and to make a very mocking video presentation that doesn't even need to be made because you have to give her credit for something she did do. Okay? Now... I looked at the whole thing and at first I thought, hey, that's great. You're actually giving her credit on a website. But then when I started reading it, I noticed that you had no intention of it being a formal apology whatsoever. In fact, what did you put? F asterisk? You know, I mean, even a child knows what that is. So when you're putting that on the internet for people to see, it just boggles my mind. You know, there's a great word for this. It's called facepalm. You do this constantly to people. They're constantly putting their palms to their faces. Okay? You need to stop that. Okay? Stating redneck law is stupid. You need to research. There are plenty of websites out there that you can research law at. You don't know anything about what you're talking about, and you're trying to state you do. Okay? You dug your own grave on this one, and you're just going to have to eat it. Okay? You're just going to have to either work, uh, build a ladder, work your way out of the grave, or whatever you have to do. But, you know, this is ridiculous, okay? Now, copyright laws. Let me tell you a little bit about copyright laws. If I used an image, or if anybody else used an image that Julie Steele did 
but did not claim it as their own and used it as reference on an educational video or anything of a documentary style that they are not making any money off of, that copyright law does not go into effect. Therefore, it is not valid for what you are saying that we are doing wrong. Julie, great work. I have seen your work, but guess what? If I use it but never claim it as my own, then it is not copyright law, especially when I'm using it in videos such as this or blogs, all right? And to make a statement that if you knew I was going to mock a monotone presentation of what you feel I have done wrong by saying that you would have flipped the page with your middle finger. How professional is that? So far I haven't been anything but professional in my videos about telling you what you have and have not done wrong. Okay? The other thing is, if you really don't care about the internet, why the heck are you on it? If it's not that big of a deal, you shouldn't be on it in the first place. Secondly, in that note, if you have a website that's online, even if you don't make a lot of business from it, nobody's going to give you business if it's a broken website. And let me reiterate this. Weather has nothing to do with the internet, unless the actual server was in a town that got destroyed by a hurricane, it is not touched, okay? You're right about absolute links if they are attached to a file that's on your server and that file is taken off. Of course it's going to be broken. What's your excuse for the links that aren't absolute? Okay, now, here's a big thing. This has nothing to do about me, as you've stated in your past videos. This has nothing to do about me. I was never actually a part of this whole thing. I stood up for what I thought was right, and that's why I am here. But my business is not your business, and therefore you do not need to tell me how I should be running my business. Okay, I'm glad you guys are doing great. You've been doing great for the past 10, 20, 30 so years. I mean, I'm glad you've gotten on America's Got Talent. I haven't done it yet. I'm glad you can take up a whole 30 minute show because they have nothing else to talk about. That's great. <coughs> I guess in Louisiana, they do need some comedy in that area. They should go see Michael Darden. He's a great magician and his comedy will blow your mind okay I guess I already went into that don't give me advice because your advice is not needed my videos won't come down nor will I change or remove your name your company's name any tags for the simple fact of the matter is and I'm going to use this as an example, so don't quote me on this, all right? It's like a child molester, a first-time child molester. They screwed up. You know, they really hit a bad time in their life. They did something that they really knew they shouldn't have done, but they got caught. Now, because of laws right now, first-time offenders have to be publicly announced they're not allowed in certain places, okay? Now, is it right for that child molester to say, hey, take my name down, don't post where I live, don't say that I'm a child molester because that's gonna hurt my business. Will they do it? No, they won't. So guess what? You're gonna have to learn from your mistakes, you know? My business, knows how I am professionally in a workplace. These videos are not my workplace. They do reflect a little bit of my business, but they're also in a professional manner and deal with a lot of issues that you do not. So, let's just end it there and just say, 
you're going to have to learn from your mistakes. Music copyright laws. You are right. It is against the law to use another person's music without their right. If I'm making money off of it. The talent show that we had at the Virginia Highlands Festival, which my business part of it is none of your business, was not televised. It was not broadcast on the radio. But if I was to do so, I would contact the local music companies and ask them how much it would cost or if they could donate the rights to those songs that these children sing for this talent show so that it can be televised on TV. America's Got Talent is a copyrighted slogan. Abingdon's Got Talent is not. Okay? Now here, let me tell you this, one other thing. You can't go after any face painter for any copyright laws for DC, Marvel, um, movies, or anything like that. Why? Because there is a 10% artistic change in anything that we do. The work is not the exact duplicate of what they have in the books or anything else. So, each face is a different size. Each artist has their own style. And we always change it at least 10%. Now, you know what that 10% is? The face. If we were to actually take, say, um, who could I use as an example? Um, uh, oh, Tobey Maguire. If I was to paint his face as Spider-Man, guess what? It would already be a 10% artistic representation change because it's not a mask. His nose is showing, his mouth is showing, his eyes are showing. The mask does not show any of this. Therefore, it has changed at least 10% because it is not a flat surface. So copyright laws do not pertain to face painting. Okay? Unless you are making money off of certain things that are exact duplicates. Which they are not. Um, oh, thank you for your concern about my personal life. Stay out of it. This has nothing to do with my personal life. I thank you for your concern for Jessica. I thank you for, you know, your concern with me and my business partner. But that has nothing to do with this. And you need to back out of that before you really get yourself in a hole. What you are doing with these long-winded videos is nothing more than saving face. And by saving face, you're actually making yourselves look bad. Now, you can say I am doing something illegal, but I have made a copy of every one of your videos, all 13 of the first videos and all six of the second videos. I have also made copies of all mine and put them onto a hard drive. I have also taken all the documentation that I have on my blogs that state fact and not fiction and have placed those in the same folder on my hard drive so that I might, if I don't go to court, be able to provide a resource for others in case you take off the stuff that you say is not bad. Face palm. It's ridiculous. You guys need to stop making videos. All you're doing is you're making it harder on yourselves in case you do have to go to court because you're looking like fools. You're cussing at people. Oh, how professional is it to say you are doing a super deluxe credit for Christina Davidson and saying that her company is Amabitch? Not Amadazzle. If you're going to state something, state it right. Don't mock them and expect them not to rebut. She doesn't want to do anything. Christina Davidson just wants to leave it alone and hopes that it just goes away. 
I told her I can't do that because everybody knows how I am and how I stand up for people. So, take your foot out of your mouth and just save face and stop making videos. Just go about your business, do what you have to do down there, do what's right, and you'll be okay. But the more you push this issue, the more it's going to bite you in the ass. So, I guess to end this, like you do in all your videos, and like you've done in all your emails to everybody else that was so condescending, thank you for watching, and you have a nice day.